All right, so today I want to talk about beat battles a little bit. Um, I've had an opportunity to judge a couple. Uh, one with uh, the Heat Wave Music Group. If you've ever heard of that Facebook group, if you haven't, look them up. They have some great events, you know, every Friday and Saturday night. Um, got an opportunity to judge the Tournament of Fire, which is, you know, they have a hot spot every week, every Friday night at 8 o'clock. And then they pick the best beat from that night. They do that for eight weeks, and then they pick those top, those eight producers who won the hot spot, and then they put them in a tournament of fire. Um, so if you give me the next five minutes, I'm going to show you how I judge beat battles, but you can also use this if you're an artist and you're you're creating your own music or producing for yourself. You can kind of use this criteria to, to look at your own, you know, uh, instrumental and determine if you have everything that it needs. Um, and I'll get into depth in that in a little bit. So... Uh, one thing I'd like to mention, if you'd like a free step-by-step -step guide on how to produce a professional sounding track in less than two hours using just a low-cost off FL Studio and free stuff you can find on the internet, um, just go ahead and write the word yes in the comments, Y-E-S, and I will DM that over to you. So if you don't know, my name is Jason Dowdy. I've been an artist and producer for over 20 years now. I've worked with people like Timbaland and Aaliyah. Um, and I've made it my life's mission to help independent artists. Uh, back when I was in a, an R&B group signed to a label and everything, the label had all of the power, right? We trusted and kind of put our career in their hands. What I love about today is that artists are more independent than ever. Um, they have an avenue, you know, since the internet was invented. I'm a little bit older if I'm dating myself a little bit. But uh, <laughs> ever since the launch of the internet, you can put your career in your own own hands. You can find your own... Um, you know, fan base, grow your audience and all of that yourself. So uh, one thing one thing I can do to help with that is I feel that every artist should be able to produce for themselves at some level, at least enough to get your ideas down. Right. Um, so if you need some help learning production, just let me know. Type the word yes in the comments and I'll shoot you over a free course. All right. So let's talk about beat battles. And I'm just going to share my screen real quick. Um, share. This one right here. Here we go. So beat battles are a little bit of a different thing, right? You get a bunch of uh, producers together and they throw everything but the kitchen sink into their beats <laughs> and, you know, go uh, go head to head and then a winner's picked. Um, so I'm going to show you the criteria that I use to judge those. And then I'm going to explain how you can use this to help in your production as well. So um, let's start with the very first thing. So this is going to be a score out of 100. Here, let me... Let's shrink that a little bit so I can do this. All right. Okay, so the very first thing I put on here, half of the score is all about feeling. If you are creating uh, you know, any type of art, if you don't feel anything, then there's no why why make it, right? It may be technically proficient, <laughs> you know, and all of that, great. Nobody cares, right? Music is the whole reason music exists is to help make you feel something and to share an emotion. So feeling is half of the score. Composition. So that includes sound selection. That includes, you know, the bass lines you choose, um, all of those types of things, uh, how you arrange the strings, uh, how you can use silence to your advantage. You know, is it is the track overproduced right i also look at that as well sometimes simpler is better um so there's a composition that's 10 points variety so you may have an incredible eight bars of music but if i have to listen to those eight bars for two minutes straight <laughs> right the same eight bars with no breaks no variety no drops no chain chord changes none of that um then it's going to get a little repetitive right so 10 10 points for variety Mix. So are, do your drums slap, right? Especially in beat battles. That's probably the most important thing. Um, can we hear the beat clearly? Is there any distortion or saturation that's uh, too much, right? Um, I've, a lot of, sometimes that happens with 808. Some, some producers will push their mix so loud that it'll start to distort and not sound clean, right? So all of those types of things, you got to find a really good balance um, in your mix. All right, and then we have transitions. So 
Uh, that's basically moving from one part of your song to the next. Is it an interesting transition? Um, is it a transition I've never heard before? Maybe a new take on a transition? Uh, all of those types of things. Or, you know, does it even have a transition? And then finally, the ending. So, you know, I've, I've heard, I've been in beat battles before where it just cuts off abruptly, right? And you're like, and it's, it's some of the dopest beats too. And you're like, oh man, this is incredible. And then it just stops. <laughs> you know, and you're just kind of left hanging there like, okay, with a little awkward pause, right? So, uh, you know, does it have an ending and what's the ending like? That's Those are the criteria that I use. And then you would put the score here. Right, so if you're an artist and you're producing for yourself, I'm not saying that you need to perfect all of these elements or anything like that. Sometimes a simple guitar and the right melody with little harmonies here and there is an amazing song. Right. Uh, but I would say you could use this little chart, you know, and these elements to think about your production as you're creating. Is this the type of song that needs better transition? Is it getting repetitive? Uh, how is my composition? Does it make sense? Is this overproduced? You can start asking yourself all of those questions as you're creating your your craft, uh, your song, um, and that'll just help you make better music. So I hope this has helped somebody out there. Just to mention again, if you want a free course on how to produce your professional track in less than two hours using FL Studio and free stuff you, stuff you can find on the internet, just type the word yes right there in the comments, and then I'll be able, I'll be sure to shoot that over to your DM. But until then,